You've seen modern bulldozers, but did you know there was a powerful predecessor that almost changed the game? We're talking about two-speed dozers, machines with a secret that ultimately sealed their fate. Discover the surprising reasons these engineering marvels couldn't survive in the heavy equipment world. Imagine a piece of heavy machinery, revolutionary for its time, that promised unmatched power and efficiency, then vanished almost without a trace. What happened to two-speed dozers? Their disappearance wasn't an accident, but a fascinating story of engineering ambition meeting harsh reality. They were designed to conquer the toughest terrain, to push the limits of what heavy equipment could do. Yet these innovative two-speed dozers, once a symbol of industrial progress, are now a relic of the past. Join us as we dig into the untold history behind their rise and puzzling decline. This isn't just about a forgotten machine, it's a peek into the cutthroat world of heavy equipment innovation, where only the strongest survive, and sometimes even the cleverest ideas hit a wall. The Rise of a Curious Beast Back in the day, the heavy equipment world was constantly looking for the next big thing. Manufacturers were always trying to build machines that could push more, pull more, and do it faster. This was the era where giants like Caterpillar, International Harvester, and Alice Chalmers were battling it out, each trying to outdo the other. It was a time of pure mechanical muscle before computers and sophisticated electronics took over. Enter the two-speed dozer. This wasn't just a slightly better bulldozer, it was a completely different animal underneath the hood, or more accurately, inside the transmission. The idea was simple yet brilliant. Give a dozer two distinct gear ranges within its transmission. The first range would be for super heavy pushing, where you needed maximum power but didn't care much about speed. Think about tearing through solid rock or pushing a massive pile of dirt up a steep incline. The second range was for lighter loads, or for when you needed to move faster, perhaps for backblading or clearing lighter materials. This dual transmission system was unique. Most dozers then, and many still today, relied on a single speed transmission for their main pushing power, using torque converters to manage variable loads. The two-speed dozer, however, literally had two separate sets of gears you could shift between. Imagine having two different strength modes for your dozer accessible on the fly. This promised unmatched versatility and, importantly, efficiency. Why waste fuel trying to push a light load in a super low powerful gear, and why struggle with a heavy load in a fast, weaker gear? It made perfect sense on paper. These beasts started popping up in the mid-20th century, particularly from the 1950s through the early 1970s. Manufacturers saw them as a way to give operators more control and adapt to diverse job site conditions. They were primarily used in demanding applications, large-scale construction projects, road building through mountainous terrain, logging operations where clearing heavy timber was key, and certainly in mining, where moving vast quantities of overburden was a daily task. The early appeal was undeniable. More power, more flexibility, and, theoretically, more efficiency. It sounded like the ultimate dozer, the engineering headache. But as with many ambitious engineering feats, the devil was in the details. The promise of the two-speed dozer started to unravel when those complex details met the brutal reality of a construction site. The inherent mechanical flaws were the first major problem. To achieve those two distinct gear ranges, manufacturers had to essentially put two transmissions into one. This meant a lot more gears, more shafts, more clutches, and more linkages. Think of it like trying to fit two car engines into one car's engine bay. It doubles the complexity. All these extra parts had to work perfectly in sync, under immense pressure, day in and day out. What happened? They broke. A lot. These complex gears and linkages were often the first to fail, under the incredible stress of heavy dozing. Imagine the forces involved when a bulldozer shoves a massive boulder. Those shock loads were transmitted directly through these intricate gearboxes. A single-speed transmission, being simpler, had fewer points of failure. The two-speed system, with its added layers, was like a house of cards in comparison. Operators reported frequent breakdowns, especially during shifts between the two speed ranges, or when pushing extremely heavy loads that would violently stress the internal components. 
This led directly to the second and arguably more crippling issue, maintenance nightmares and downtime. When one of these complex transmissions failed, it wasn't a quick fix. Diagnosing the problem was harder because there were more potential culprits. Getting to the broken parts often meant disassembling half the machine. And then, finding replacement parts for these specialized, intricate components could be a challenge, especially as they aged. Every hour a dozer sat idle, waiting for repairs, was money bleeding out of a construction company's pocket. In the heavy equipment world, uptime is king. A machine that spent more time in the shop than on the job site was a financial black hole. Owning a two-speed dozer quickly became a financial burden for many operators, eating into their profits and causing frustrating delays on projects. Manufacturers knew this was a problem. They poured resources into trying to fix these fundamental design challenges. They tried stronger materials, beefier gears, improved hydraulics for shifting. This quest for reliability was a constant uphill battle. They would release new models with improved transmissions, but the core complexity remained, and with it, the susceptibility to failure. It was like trying to patch a leaky boat with stronger patches. Eventually, you realize the boat's design itself might be the problem. The constant struggle to make the two-speed system robust enough for the relentless demands of dozing ultimately proved too difficult and too costly. Market Realities and Shifting Demands as if the mechanical headaches weren't enough, the world around the two-speed dozer was also changing, pushing it further towards obsolescence. The economic downturns of the 1970s and 80s played a significant role. This was a period marked by energy crises, recessions, and global financial instability. When the economy tightens, construction and mining projects slow down. Companies become incredibly cautious with their spending. They need reliable, cost-effective machines more than ever. The high maintenance costs and frequent downtime of two-speed dozers made them a liability in a tough economic climate. Businesses couldn't afford a machine that often sat broken. They needed workhorses, not temperamental thoroughbreds. Simultaneously, more reliable and versatile alternatives were emerging. While the two-speed dozers struggled with their complex gearboxes, single-speed dozers, particularly those with advanced torque converters and improved hydraulic systems, were getting better and better. These machines offered sufficient power for most tasks, were far simpler mechanically, and therefore much more reliable and easier to maintain. They didn't have the two distinct speeds, but their continuous power delivery through a well-designed torque converter could handle a wide range of loads effectively. Other earth-moving solutions like wheel loaders and articulated dump trucks also became more advanced, taking on tasks that might have previously required a dozer further diversifying the market and making the two-speed dozer's niche less critical. Ultimately, operator preferences sealed the deal. When you're out in the scorching sun or freezing cold pushing dirt all day, you don't want to worry about your machine breaking down. Simplicity and durability trumped theoretical versatility on the job site. Operators wanted a machine they could trust, one that would start every morning and run all day without a hitch. The ability to switch between two internal gear ranges, while seemingly clever, wasn't worth the headaches and costs associated with maintaining such a complicated system. They preferred a robust, straightforward machine that might be slightly less optimized for every single task, but would get the job done reliably day after day. The Sunset of an Innovation As the 1970s bled into the 1980s, the writing was on the wall for two-speed dozers. Most manufacturers quietly started phasing them out. While some companies held on longer than others, hoping to perfect the technology, the market had spoken. Companies like Alice Chalmers and International Harvester were among the key players who championed two-speed designs for a time. The Alice Chalmers HD21, for example, had a unique torque converter drive with an automatically shifted two-speed transmission. Similarly, some International Harvester models featured planetary steering with two-speed gearing. These were powerful machines, truly impressive for their era, and in their prime, they were formidable. But even these giants eventually realized the commercial viability simply wasn't there anymore. Their last two-speed models rolled off the assembly lines with less and less frequency, until production simply stopped. There wasn't a big announcement or a grand funeral for the two-speed dozer. It just quietly faded from production. 
becoming less common in sales brochures and eventually disappearing from dealer lots. The quiet discontinuation was less a failure and more a natural selection in the brutal ecosystem of heavy industry. It was an innovation that, despite its ingenuity, couldn't adapt to the demands of reliability, cost-effectiveness, and real-world durability. The lessons learned from this decline were profound for the heavy equipment industry. It taught manufacturers a crucial truth. Complexity, no matter how clever, often comes at the cost of reliability and maintainability. It reinforced the idea that simpler, more robust designs, even if they seem less technologically advanced, often win out on the job site. It also highlighted the importance of listening to the operators and owners, the people who live and die by the performance of their machines. Sometimes, the best engineering solution isn't the most intricate, but the one that works consistently, day in and day out, without fuss. Legacy and Modern Echoes So, the two-speed dozer vanished, but its story isn't just about a failed innovation. It's a testament to the continuous drive for improvement and the harsh realities of industrial engineering. These early experiments, with their ambitious dual transmission systems, undeniably shape today's designs. While modern dozers don't have a clunky two-speed mechanical transmission in the same way, the idea of optimizing power and speed for different tasks absolutely lives on. Modern hydrostatic and sophisticated power shift transmissions in bulldozers achieve similar goals, but through much more reliable and advanced means. They can continuously vary speed and torque to match the load, effectively giving you infinite speeds without the mechanical complexity of those older two-speed gearboxes. These modern systems are controlled by electronics and hydraulics, making them incredibly smooth, efficient, and reliable, precisely what the early two-speed dozers strived for but couldn't quite achieve with purely mechanical means. The enduring impact on heavy equipment R&D is clear. Why understanding past failures fuels future success in the industry. Every innovation, successful or not, provides valuable data. The challenges faced with two-speed dozers pushed engineers to think differently about power delivery, leading to the development of torque converters, power shift transmissions, and eventually hydrostatic drives that could deliver variable power reliably. It showed what not to do, but also highlighted the need for greater versatility and efficiency. So let's offer a tribute to forgotten ingenuity. The engineers who designed these two-speed dozers were bold thinkers. They pushed the boundaries of what was possible with the technology of their time. While their specific solution might have ultimately been unsuccessful, their ambition, their desire to make machines better and more efficient, is what drives progress. The two-speed dozer might be a relic, a curious beast from a bygone era, but its story is a fascinating chapter in the evolution of heavy equipment, a reminder that even in failure, there's always a valuable lesson to be learned. If you love uncovering the hidden stories behind engineering and technology, make sure to subscribe and check out our next video on the screen right now.